Would you guys please give a huge, huge round of applause? This is Izzy. And we've played a few times, like a few little things, but this is this is Izzy's first show with Tegan and Sarah. He is doing he is doing a lot back there. He's pretty much he's the three band members we no longer can afford. So um, so Izzy, thank you so much. You killed it on your first Tegan and Sarah. Um, listen. Let's get real for a second. We are not just promoting an album, we're promoting a TV show. Now listen, listen, I know that it is hard to keep up with what's going on in this world. There's elections, there's aliens, there's tsunamis, there's freedom fighters. It's hard to keep it all uh, straight. But let me tell you something that you might have missed if you haven't been looking at our social media. Tegan and Sarah, wrote a memoir, that's us. Tegan and Sarah wrote a memoir about three short years called High School and it got made into a TV show. And it, wasn't, and it wasn't because a lot of people didn't work super hard, a lot of people worked super hard. And it's the kind of show that it, it, needs, it needs fans, it needs supporters, it needs people, um, it needs people to tell you know, Amazon. Hey, this is got, this has got an audience. This is this, this people are interested in this. So if you haven't if you haven't yet checked it out, it's called High School. It's on Amazon, and uh, there's so many reasons to support it. So many, written and directed by women. Almost all the cast is here. And, uh, You know, it's, it's so expensive. Listen, I can't, I know that this is going to be hard to articulate, but because I get it, like I've, I've stood in an audience and stared up at artists that I really love and that I really admire, but I still feel like teenage Sarah, who's like 15 years old, I hated my body, I hated myself, I hated my life, I had no fucking idea what I was going to do with the rest of my life. You're going to love the show, it's super no. beautiful. <laughs> Your pie hole. <laughs> in 1995, there was literally no queer representation on television except for Ricky from My So Called Life. It was fucking bleak, you guys. It was fucking, it was bleak. I mean, shit still sucks, but it was, it really sucked in 1995. And I, I just had no idea what was gonna happen with my future. And I am completely satisfied with our music career, and I, we've seen the world, we've, we've had amazing experiences, I love playing for all of you, but it, it, it is not lost on me, and it was not lost on me during the months that we were in Calvary, our hometown, filming the show, that this did not exist when I was growing up, it kind of still doesn't exist, this story specifically about queer twins who are, you know, making music and not just having sex with one, not even, okay, one person, or queer people in general, we were only allowed to like one, we were only allowed to like one person on, on TV and film, and they were usually like really square and mostly straight, but gay enough. And I just feel like this show, it's just it's like, it's about like, you know, like queer people who are just like, you know, like queer all the time, and lots of queer people. And it's 